one. Every day at 5 a.m., 600 drivers clock on at 15 depots across London. This is a test, testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Dylan Glenister is picking up his train at the west end of the Piccadilly line at Acton. OK, this train is ready to depart. Staying clear of this train, please. That's just for the benefit of any cleaners or anything that might be about to jump in. So as you can see, it's actually absolutely creeping along at the moment because it's this one carriage trying to pull all the others. You can now you can hear it go back online again. And here we go, off and away. It's a great job, it really is. It is one of those jobs where you wake up in the morning and you don't resent the fact that you have to go into work. It's not a case of, oh God, I've got to go into work and drive trains all day. Right, okay, cup of tea, we'll go off to work. It's nice to be part of the bigger picture of the underground, you know, and it's the lifeblood of London. Train's ready to depart, mind the closing doors, please, stand clear. London Underground employ 3,200 drivers, each one dedicated to one of the 11 lines. It's one of these jobs I don't think everyone could do. You've got to be, I suppose in a way, you'd be able to deal with your own company. Hello. Hi, honey. <laughs> you can sit here and be bored if you want, or you can get on with it and enjoy it and talk to people. I've been doing it a while now. It's been about 31 years, so uh, I've seen quite a few things. Some good, some bad. It's not what we do that we get paid for. Probably most people who drive a train. It's knowing what to do when it all goes very badly wrong, and it can go so easily wrong. It can be dangerous, and the things you see people do, it's, uh, well, it's mind-boggling, some of the things. Uh, some people, I think, leave their brain outside. Every year, there are 4,000 incidents of passengers being injured on the tube. Two and a half thousand involve people falling down stairs and escalators. Nearly 500 happen on platforms, including 40 serious accidents involving trains. The Network Operations Centre responds to all emergencies across the 274 stations and 526 trains. OK, we've got a male, 49, conscious, breathing and not all that alert. Our primary role is the command and control function. We come into things when things go wrong. And he suspects he's having a heart attack. It's either abject boredom or organised chaos. There's absolutely nothing happening and everything's quiet and then the phone goes off and someone's thrown himself in front of a train. A person under a train is commonly referred to as a one-under by tube staff. It's the most distressing and disruptive incident the network has to face. The Network Operations Centre have their own emergency response units covering the entire tube system 24 hours a day. Right, two small airbags, two large airbags. Two Kianamas, large bolt cutters. There are four emergency response centres across the city. The busiest cover central and northern London. One F, tube socks, gate frame, four wheels. We're doing our, our daily checks. We've just started our shift, so, uh, so we generally like to come in, go through all of the vehicles, all of the equipment. Right, watch out for this pole. Any emergency on the underground, anything that could put passengers in danger, we, we basically get called out to. Right, set of burning hoses, burning box, skate bag, TSR bag. We're a long-standing team. We've, we've been together for probably about 10 years now. We've seen most. There's not, there's not a lot that can shock us. Two body bags. Let's hope we don't need them both, do they? 